my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. Stitch wasn't feeling good today, so Aww. I couldn't come. I'm sorry. Hope he didn't get you sick. Nope. Okay. So, Jovi, what's our letter today? Why? Why? Right. What's for why, Grampy? The letter for why, I don't think you know this one, hmm. is yolk. Like yeah. the yolk and the egg? Not like the yolk and the egg. It's spelled differently. That one's spelled Y-O-L-K. This yolk is spelled Y-O-K-E. Okay? Here's a picture. This wooden cross piece that attaches those two oxen. Mm -hmm. That's a yolk. You want to hold that up? You want to take that closer to our camera? Let me get in the camera to make sure our friends can see it. Okay, right there is good. There we go. The wooden cross piece is a yoke. Right there. Right. Hold it right there while I read this, okay? okay? Just real still right there. It's fastened over the necks of two animals and attached to a plow or a cart, like on a farm, to pull. The yoke is used to help carry or pull heavy objects by distributing the weight evenly on both shoulders so the two animals share the work mm -hmm. the picture left us. That's okay, I think that's not. Okay, so let me read that part over again. A yoke is used to help carry or pull heavy weight by distributing the weight evenly on both shoulders. So in other words, if we were pulling something heavy and we were side by side and I was pulling and you were pulling, if we had that wooden yoke on us that was attached, we would both pull the same. So it kind of evens out things. Okay? So you at home and Joey, you might ask, what does that have to do with the Bible? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a scripture in the Bible. It's Matthew 11, 28 and 30. Joby, would you read it nice and slow for our friends? Come to me, all you who are weary and burned. And burned. Burdened. Burdened. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in my heart. And you will find the rest of your souls. For my, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, so let's talk about that. This is Jesus talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. So that means what? Like not rested and just worried, tired, tired, have a heavy heart, weak. Weak. weak, come to me, okay? Take my yoke upon you and learn. Now, Jesus doesn't mean y'all, we're both going to wear a wooden crossbar. No. No, that's not what he means, okay? But he means work with him. Don't go. <laughs> Don't. Say, don't go your own way. Yeah, don't say, oh, he's saying that I should, that we should, <sighs> that we should be together like this and have like a quad. Piece of wooden. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what he's saying. Okay. It says, when I bear Jesus's yoke, I can't go my own way. I go his way. Oh, when, when Jesus tells you to do something, mm -hmm. you do it his way. Right. So what does that mean? when, not what does it mean, how does that bring you rest when you do Jesus's way? Um, cause then he like, like serves you the honor of God to, un, to unweak that strong, bad, like let's say you were having a bad day. Okay. And you and Jesus was saying, please follow my rules and you will not have a bad day anymore. That's right. So let's say if they were being mean to me, the other person was bullying me. Okay. And for example, Jesus would be saying, please follow my rules and you won't have a bad day anymore. Right, come say, with me. Yeah, come with me and follow my rules and- And let me and, guide you, yeah. right? Okay, all right. So, wouldn't that be an awesome thing, though, to be yoked to Jesus all the time? Oh, yeah. Can we be yoked to him all the time? Yeah. Yeah, 
we certainly can. So maybe we should all try to do that. Yeah. All right, let's have a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this lesson on um, being with you and remaining in you so that we can give you our burdens and find rest in you. Amen. Amen. Bye. We have Bye. one more letter to do. The letter Z. Okay. You want to tell them? No. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. You can go turn it on. I'll keep waving. <clears throat> we don't know if Stitch might be here tomorrow. Or I don't know when he'll be here. Maybe it was a bad cold. Bye.